I got some junk in my trunk, or in my DNA, or both. Hey guys, it's Trace again for D News. Our DNA might be mostly nothing. Yep, not a zip, just trash. Scientists learned in the 80s that of all DNA, maybe 2% contains actual genes. Genes are the switches that turn on the production of proteins that make us who, how, and what we are. The rest of that 98%, we're not sure what that does, if anything. It might just be junk DNA, or what the scientists call non-coding DNA. Coding DNA connects to RNA, which then goes off and produces cells and determines how they work. But non-coding DNA, well, it's pretty much just chilling out. Since its discovery, scientists have found that this disorganized and mostly mysterious section of our genetic code doesn't really seem to do anything. So why don't we just cut it out? Because we're not entirely sure that it's useless, that's why. It just seems to be. Non-coding DNA was discovered when scientists began looking deeper into cloning. They found that only a small percent of our DNA determined a lot about the organism, and now scientists have been working for decades to find out exactly what the heck we've got with all this extra genetic material. A new study published on May 12th in the journal Nature says that that stuff is just crap, it's nothing. Get it out of there. And their proof is in this plant, the carnivorous bladderwort. Looking at the DNA of the carnivorous bladderwort plant, scientists believe that they have confirmed that our junk DNA probably ain't worth the proteins it's printed on. The clues to this new finding has to do with the bladderwort's tiny amount of non-coding DNA. Whereas most things, including humans, have like 2% genes and 98% Zippo, that 1-2% of DNA contains all the genes that make RNA that make you, you. That added up to about 20 to 25,000 genes. Our DNA is made up of base pairs, and most things have billions of them. For example, a lily has 40 billion base pairs, billion with a B. But the bladderwort, it has only around 80 million base pairs. A tiny amount in comparison, but if we look closer, they both, just like us, have only around 25,000 active genes. The same number of genes, but one has 500 times more base pairs? What the heck is going on with all that other stuff then? The scientists see it as just junk, waste. Scientists have no idea how, but this little carnivorous plant stripped a significant amount of the junk DNA out of its genome. The genes fit into this DNA comfortably with only about 3% junk. Humans are more like the lily. We've got something like 500 billion base pairs, with 98% of that being non-coding DNA or junk DNA. Why do we have it? No idea. Duke University's Greg Ray believes the non-coding DNA is sort of like a recipe book. Without it, the coding DNA wouldn't function properly. But that was prior to this new study. Ray believes that the non-coding DNA can be a factor in how we look and act, as well as genetic diseases that might affect us. But now with this discovery, he may just have to reassess. The more scientists seem to learn, the more confusing it becomes. And looking at this one plant and its strange ability to lose junk DNA may mean it's not important, but are we sure? Not even close. What do you think of this study? Do you think our DNA is full of junk, of years of trial and error of evolution, or are we missing the bigger picture? Share your thoughts with us and make sure you subscribe for more D News every day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>